Brook Vivian Parsons and the late William P. Parsons. Many of you may share fond memories with Ruthanne at her parents' roller rink where she skated most every night of her young life until she got married. I know I love the place. I fell in love there like every time we went there. We'd take the bus from Holden where I was in junior high school and the bus load of kids came over to the roller rink and we had these couples in the skates and we had to fall in love at the, at the roller rink. Even in junior high. She's been married to Greg Small for 39 years. They have three sons, three daughter-in-laws, and four grandchildren, and I'll let her introduce them herself in a moment. She graduated from CMSU with a degree in business and has applied her education working as a bank teller, loan processor, real estate abstractor, paralegal, and business owner. Experience that all relates directly to the responsibilities of county collector. During her tenure as president of the State County Collectors Association, she formed a task force of county collectors and representatives from the Department of Revenue to improve vehicle licensing procedures regarding tax receipts. She also served four years on the local recorder's board for the Secretary of State's office, and during that time, she updated the county collector's retentions manual, which had not been done since the 70s. Ruthann has continued to make many improvements to the tax collection process in Johnson County. In 2003, she designated new tax bills and receipts, which now approximate which now approximately 20 counties in the state of Missouri is used as their template. In 2009, she created a website for Johnson County Collector's Office, for the Johnson County Collector's Office, and includes more information than anyone would want to know about taxes. It offers online payment options and the ability to reprint tax receipts. So delete with all that stuff, there were computers back in the day that she was there, but her thank is the credit for it. Modernizing those things. The county collector's office moved out of the courthouse to the South Annex in August of 2017. No tax increase was required to purchase the building. The funds were made possible due to Ruthann's conservative budgeting. She operates her office under a budget of $165,000, and the fees from her office generate a half a million dollars a year for, for the general revenue. In the early to mid 1980s, Ruthann Small and her husband Greg were starting their family here in Morrisburg. I don't remember exactly how I met Ruthann, but I know she was selling jewelry on Holden Street around the corner from my law office on the square. The owner of the business decided to close and reduce prices on the jewelry to move his inventory. I was a young, starving lawyer starting a family of my own, yet somehow Ruthann talked me into buying a beautiful string of pearls for my wife at the store. <laughs> Ruthann is very persuasive and determined. A few months later, we had an opening for a paralegal in our law office, and Kirk Rahm and I successfully recruited Ruthann to join our firm. That would have been 1984-1985. Kirk and I got lucky. Ruthann did everything around that office and did it all extremely well. From secretarial work, to research and writing, to meeting with clients, to investigating cases, Ruth Ann was a star and quite the go-getter. In fact, I believe she would have run the place herself if not for Kirk and me. I'm certain that Ruth Ann remembers the day I was working on a case getting ready for trial and she was telling me what to do. I finally just had to look at her and say, Ruth Ann, I appreciate all of your help and advice on this. The last time I checked, I was the person that had the law degree and the law license. <laughs> then, in 1986, when I first ran for circuit judge, Ruth Ann took over with Kirk's full support as the office organizer of my campaign. She and my wife, Mary, worked tirelessly on my campaign, and she even made her husband, Greg, work on my campaign. By election day, it was clear that my opponents were no match for Ruth Ann and my wife, Mary, and we won that race handily. So then, within a few short years, we were working together again, this time in the courthouse when she became the Johnson County Collector. And from that day in 1992 on, Ruth Ann was consistently the top vote-getter in either party in every election for almost 30 years. And Ruth Ann always made certain to point out to her former boss that she always got more votes than I did. <laughs> Some misguided Republican, and I don't remember who it was, even decided to run against her one year. It wasn't even close. And even though she's still a Democrat in Republican-heavy Johnson County, she was never opposed again. Just 
as Stephanie did with her dispatching of the misguided person that ran against her. And there were at least two very good reasons for that. Number one, Ruthann worked harder than anyone to make certain that office was run perfectly, timely, and in a friendly manner, because Ruthann never does anything halfway well. And secondly, nobody could beat her anyway. <laughs> Because of the great amount of respect she enjoys with her peers, Ruth has been elected president of the Missouri Collectors Association and has held other elective offices within that organization. She's been a great steward of our taxpayer dollars. As our county tax collector, she is always under budget and shares those dollars for the betterment of all Johnson County government, as can be seen by the new annex for the collector and assessor's offices. I have tried to get her to run for senator, or at least to run for state rep, because I know she would win, and I know she'd do a good job. As most of you know, Ruthann has announced that this will be her last term in office. You deserve your retirement, Ruthann, and you're very, very deserving of this award tonight. But you will be sorely missed, not just by Johnson County Democrats, but by all citizens of Johnson County because of the wonderful public servant you are and have been. Congratulations, Ruthann. and the service. 
service that you provide? Well, how did I get to be county collector? Joe kind of filled us all in a little bit. Um, maybe embellished a little bit, uh, but mostly true. Do you think when I was in high school, I said, oh, 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 I want to be the county collector when I grow up? No, it was just a progression of everything. Um, I certainly wanted to be in the legal field and uh, be a paralegal legal secretary while I was working at Rom and Dan Rand, and Joe first ran for circuit judge. I helped with his campaign, not because his, he was my boss, but because I believed in Joe. I knew Joe would make a great circuit judge. And you know, Kirk Rom taught me a lot of valuable lessons. He used to, when I would go in and ask him a question, he would say, I don't know, play attorney, go down the basement, figure it out, come back when you have an answer. So this has helped me to interpret statutes and laws for the county collector's office. He also told me one time, Ruth Ann, you need to stop at 90% because your 110 is going to kill one of us. <laughs> I would also like to thank Delita. Thanks for winning that election in 1992 as state representative to create the vacancy for my appointment. Thanks for hiring me as seasonal help. And most of all, Thank you for giving me, giving me those big shoes to fill. Delete is quite a legacy to follow, and I hope I did you proud. Well, now on to my family. First, I want to recognize my mom. Anybody that knows Vivian Parsons knows where I got my work ethic and my compassion. What a great role model, and I am certainly happy she's here with us today at 93 years old. embraced me as one of their own. In 2010, when I had opposition, my father-in-law, Stan Small, he's here with us tonight, gave me a sizable donation, and he said he couldn't think of a better investment. Stan, I hope you've gotten good returns on that investment. <laughs> Siblings, well, you know, just like this is the last speaker, last award tonight, so I'm going to try to wrap it up here. But, you know, I was, I was the fourth of, of uh, four children. I was the youngest of four children. And I always used to tell my mom she must have saved the best for last. So, <laughs> kind of fitting that I have the last award tonight. But anyway, one of my siblings is here with me tonight, Dale Parsons and his wife, Sabrina and Natasha. I'd like for them to stand. Sunday school and they said, 
mom, are they going to throw rocks at our house? You know, they stone the tax collector in the Bible. <laughs> Thank you. 